In this video, we're going over Microsoft Teams as Microsoft Teams is a great collaboration tool. So if you're interested in video conferencing, just chatting, or possibly working in a collaborative group, such as a team, this is the video for you. So with that, let's get on the desktop and start exploring Microsoft Teams. Now you'll be started with this, and I will say this is not the most intuitive software in the world, but I wanna go ahead and overview the tabs real fast. Activity is just notifications that come your way. Chat is basically one-on-one -on -one chat you'll have with one and one other team member. Teams is the actual collaboration groups or the teams. Uh, calendar is basically a mirror of your Outlook calendar. So if you actually do make meetings in Microsoft Teams with like external parties, it'll actually show up here and you can actually click on them and join the teams directly from uh, Microsoft Teams. And then you also have calls. This is for actual making video calls and actually direct calls out to the outside world. However, uh, these do require extra licenses to send other people, external people, uh, meeting invites, which that is $4 a user, and I haven't actually purchased any of these licenses, so we will not be touching on the actual meeting uh, and also voice calling today. So before you actually get started and start really chatting with people and getting a camera and everything set up, there's one thing you need to do. Click on your little icon in the top right, and then Obviously, I'm gonna probably change my picture real fast and upload a new one. I'll go ahead and hit save to that. And this basically uploads my picture so then people will see my face when they actually are, are chatting with me. So we'll go ahead and close that out. And as you see, all the posts got uh, up, updated here. So if you click this picture though, after doing that, you need to go to settings. So whenever you're in here, you can change it from light to dark theme. I like dark theme because it's a little easier on the eyes. And then under privacy and notifications, set these to your content, but I leave them at defaults. The biggest thing is the device setup. One, make sure you have a functional camera. You can see the preview right here. That's very important. And then we need to make a test call. So let's go ahead and do the test call. To test your call quality, record a short message after the beep. Then your message will be played back to you. This is a test of the audio quality and to make sure my microphone is working. This is a test of the audio quality and to make sure my microphone is working. If you're happy with the quality of your message, then you've configured Teams correctly. If not, check your device settings and try again. Now, the cool thing about that call too, there was three buttons at the bottom. The red was to hang up. The actual microphone was to mute yourself. And the actual camera was, let's say, uh, you need to go to the bathroom and you don't want people just staring at your background you can totally click that to basically disable your camera so all those things are set up we know the microphone's good we know the speaker's good because we could hear it and we know our camera's good because we could see it in the preview so we got everything perfect and we know teams is now set up and we're ready to actually chat and uh, communicate with other people and uh, that's probably the biggest thing is going in setting that and then making our own teams. So uh, a good good example of all the teams is if you're constantly communicating back and forth, uh, just think of this as the same as going to uh, two attorney's offices, you know, com combining each other or going to a conference. Um, you can actually make that conference on here and do that. Now, as far as external parties, like I said, it does require uh, an extra license, which we haven't purchased yet, but uh, I will I will go ahead and make another video about conference calls and actually conference meetings. But for now, this is a good internal collaboration tool that's completely free with any Office 365 user. So with that, let's start with Teams, is which where everyone will pretty much live for collaborative things. Uh, the collaboration is, is fantastic through here. So we have the main team, which is the firm team, which has all the members in it. There's a general chat where we can just kind of put whatever it is. I've done some test meetings. And I can just be like, hey, uh, that was a great meeting. Uh, so say, great meeting. And that'll actually go ahead. Send it to everybody. Everyone will see this. It's just like a nice little poster. You can put gifts and all kinds of just fun stuff to kind of go back and forth. Imagine like just kind of hanging out in the kitchen at work, except this is the digital version of that. So uh, to, to expand on this, you can create channels with those existing members. So let's say I wanted to make an IT channel. I can just go ahead and create a new channel and call this like IT support and hit add. And this would add the IT support channel. Of course, right now, the service is having issues probably from all the people jumping on it. Uh, but needless to say, that's how you would actually do that. Now up here at the top, if we wanted to share files with everybody in the team, 
just click the files tab and you can literally upload any file you want pdf a, a zip file whatever it might be you can drag and drop it into here and then everyone can see and download that file respectively so if you're working like let's say drafting some kind of agreement you could actually go back and forth and you can actually edit this in real time so if you upload it to here you can actually edit it in real time so if you do have like multiple people making changes on the same document uh, you both can do that with the files tab so a really good part of this is if you had like a matter that you guys were both working on you could actually create a new team uh, name it whatever matter it is and then just start drag and dropping files and chatting back and forth as you could use that now the other thing I'll mention is the one-on-one -on -one chat. So this is a really good way to actually get in here and just kind of go back and forth and chat with someone directly. Aaron is currently offline since the, the little black uh, check mark. So I couldn't actually chat with her today, but if she had it on her cell phone or her computer and she was online, she would actually show up with a green check mark, much like Teams Echo is. But uh, that's pretty much it for direct chat. And if you wanted to actually chat with somebody that isn't here, so you could actually just start typing in their name, like I'm gonna put Aaron Caps in here, and I can say hi, and that would send him a message if he was online. He's not, right now I think I only have Mike Lilly online, but uh, need, needless to say, I could actually chat directly with him back and forth. I can actually hit the little uh, audio call to do a direct audio call, much like a phone call, or I could go ahead and do a video call. Uh, speaking of video calls, you can do video calls in Teams as well, as well as direct. So if you just want a one-on-one, -on -one, you can do that. And if you wanted to do just a firm-wide uh, meeting, you can do a, a variety of ways. So from the post tab, we could actually just click the little camera down here. This will spool up and kind of give you a preview. And you can meet now to immediately launch it and then just manually add everybody in the group in. Or you can just schedule the meeting and everyone will join because they know, hey, there's a firm-wide meeting at X time. So that's the basis of Microsoft Teams. It's really good for those that already have Office 365 in their business. Go ahead, activate it, use it to collaborate internally as it's no extra charge. If you do wanna add conference calls and external parties, please note you do need to go ahead and pay the four extra dollars per user that is gonna be using Microsoft Teams to utilize that feature. But other than that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one and I'll see you in the next one.